Do you want your color change to look like this? Then continue watching and I'll show you how. Hey, how's it going guys? My name is James Pena and welcome to my channel where we teach tips and subtleties on basic slide effect. Today we're going to be going over the Bertrand color change as you've seen in the trailer video. It's a super hyper visual color change that I feel like everybody should learn. Today's video is going to be broken up into two parts. Uh, the first video will be kind of taught in the audience's direction so you kind of see how it's supposed to look like and what your angle should be. And then the second part, we're gonna turn it over so it's an over the shoulder view. So you have much better detail and the tutorial is a little bit more in depth as you can see it from your perspective. Before you continue to watch this video, I highly suggest you watch my video on the snap change. Not only do you learn the snap change, but I do give my uh, tips on performances on how you should be doing a color change. Um, I'll leave the link somewhere up here. So watch that, then come back here and learn how to do the Bertram color change. So let's get to it. So to begin with the Bertram color change, you need two cards. You want them like this, right on top, not, not like this, but like this. What you wanna do is steal the bottom card. And how to do that, you are essentially doing this, Removing your left hand, and it looks like this, and you're stealing that card just like that. Then you want to move it into a tenkai position, so grab and you're left free, just like this. Now, with the left hand, you want to make sure you're pinching it with the thumb and index finger. Then grab this card that is in your right hand and you are going to line up both the middles just like this. Once you do that, in a more exposed view, if I were to leave my hand up, your thumb is in essence rubbing against the back of this card to line up with right here. So you're going to push this until it touches the other card. You'll have some mistakes like this. An easy way to do that is just pushing your index finger in. And as you can see, it's already fixing it. And then as you're squaring it, once you get near the bottom, you're going to basically start squaring it with your middle finger, All right? And then kind of come like this. And then now the card is square. And you can rotate it and be done. So one more time, quick overview. We'll do this at a little faster pace. You want two cards. You are going to steal that card and go into Tenkai. Line up the middles. And you are going to make sure this thumb pushes so it meets that edge. And then as you're squaring, push your left index finger forward. And then as you get closer to the end, just rub your middle finger, just like this, so you can complete it. Now, how to do the twirl at the end, if you would like to learn it. So once you have done the chain, all it is, is these two fingers. You're kind of just closing it. You're kind of just pinching. And it'll go. And then obviously you want to complete it. You want to keep turning. So after you've pinched it, your index finger is going to press down. Go this way. So now you're gonna basically transfer it from the middle to the index. And then you're just going to pinch it again. On full motion, looks like that. And that's how you do that. Now to the over the shoulder point of view. So now we're gonna be doing the second part of the video where it's the over the shoulder, so you can understand it a little bit better. 
So again, you want these two cards. What you want to do is you're going to apply pressure here with your middle finger and these two fingers on the back. Pull it just like that with those fingers. And then once it's separated, you want to pull this out. You're gonna pull this away and go to Tenkai. Again, you wanna make sure this middle is hitting that middle. So it looks like that from your point of view. And then obviously your hand's gonna be closed when you're doing it, but I'm gonna leave it open for instructional purposes. You are going to essentially hit this until it hits that back end. You want to make sure this index finger is up here and pushes it. All right, so here, pushes it as you're sliding. And you see how it's already pretty much square. But just in case it still isn't square, you want to run your middle finger just like this. And then now you have a clean double. Now we're gonna do this one more time, just a little quicker overview. So it should look like this. Middle's touch. Put your thumb against the edge and square it up with this finger. And then square it off. And to do the twirl, you're just pushing down with the middle finger. You're just closing, just like this. And then you want to apply pressure with the index finger. All right. Now it's transferred to your index finger and you want to do that same motion. So all in all, once you're done, looks like that. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys learned a lot. Hopefully you guys start using it. It's a very hyper visual color change that a lot of people will get stunned by. Uh, it's just so it's just so unexpected when it does happen. The reactions you'll get will be pretty amazing. Uh, so go ahead and practice it. Make sure you perfect it. And once you think you're comfortable enough, practice more and then go ahead and show it out to anybody you wish. So have fun with it. Besides that, that's pretty much all I've got for today. Peace. Wat hangt er dan aan? Best doen, best helemaal. In de muur van Liebeskroft, de kwaar.